Hi, my name is Bailey, Bailey Larson. I'm a freshman at Lincoln High. You know! And this is called, On the Occasion of Being Stuck on a Bus with a Boy Sitting Too Close to Me Who Tells Me His Entire Life Story and I Have to Pretend Like I'm Not Uncomfortable. I walk onto the bus and all of the seats are taken except next to him. We've seen each other in school, but he knows almost nothing about me, not even my name. I sit down. It is 5.30 a.m. and I am, on I am on my way to DeTassel and I am tired. He says, hi! <laughs> I say, hey. He says his name and I say mine and I look, I look down at my phone. My mother has sent me a picture of my new baby cousin born two days previously. He looks over my shoulder and asks if he is my brother. I say no. He tells me that he has a brother. He tells me that his parents are divorced, that his dad left when he was seven and his second cousin died when he was nine. He says he wants to be an inventor or a screenwriter or both. He says to have him write me a screenplay or invent something for me or both. I have known him for half an hour. <laughs> I tell him he really does not have to write me a screenplay. Please. Please don't write me a screenplay. <laughs> he ignores me. On the way home, he talks more, and I try not to fall asleep. Every so often, he says, you're not listening. And I say, yes, I am. And he says, act like it. When we get off the bus, he looks over at me and says, hey, you're pretty OK. Um, uh, he still doesn't know my name. The next day, I get on the bus, sit by myself, and try to fall asleep. He sits down next to me and resumes talking. He says he's decided the screenplay he'll write for me is a knockoff of Terminator, except I'm in it. I am not Kyle Reese or even the Terminator. I am Sarah Connor, except he re rewrites it, so I die at the end. He says he'll write me a screenplay, but he doesn't say he will kill me in it. On the way home, I try to tell him a story about my own life like he has for me. He ignores me until I stop talking. He doesn't want to hear me talk. He wants me to sit and listen, nod along for a witty insight, but can't stand to hear the sound of my voice. He gets off the bus, and that's the last time we talk. I see him again two months later. I try to say hi, but he ignores me. Later, I see him talking to his friends. He points at me, whispers something behind his hand. I don't know what he says, and I don't think I want to. I know how sad he was when his dog died, and I know the names of every girl he's ever had a crush on since the age of six. And I know his entire life story. He doesn't know my name. I have become the Sarah Connor in his Terminator. <laughs>